So we've just started in a little village a couple kilometers out of Colban. And uh, what we're doing may not seem like much at the beginning. We, we gave a lot of food out already, helped with some other organizations. organizations. But what we're doing is moving thick mud. You can see this. Carrie will give an example of how thick it is and I'll walk around. So we're in a, someone's chicken coop because, and you see the white stuff on the ground, that's calcium uh, because it's contaminated. So I'll show you where the water is, was up to, it was up to here. So basically up to my shoulder, that's how high the water came through this whole place. And uh, I'll take you, so this whole, this whole home was under, almost as tall as me, underwater. So we're cleaning all the way around the house because this mud will turn into concrete. So please pray for us because it's a lot of work. <laughs> and we've only just begun. But this is, uh, we're in a, a lower part just by the, the river. But this is what people went through last week. Uh, couldn't come home to even because it was underwater. So uh, thank you once again for all the donations. There's tons of people, uh, North Americans, but especially Guatemalans, tons of Guatemalans helping uh, up in this area, giving food. But uh, this is even a, an important thing right now. It may seem small in the moment, but it helps clean out a, a person's livelihood, their home. home. What? This is a family's home. This is a family's home. These are their chickens. These are their chickens under... Ah, they must have survived on top of the roof. <laughs>